Hey guys, look what we got here. A 64 Falcon, that's right I said Falcon, panel van. Or what I call a panel van. Do you guys call them a box van, do you, Barry? Or uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so 64 Falcon. So. Kind of uh, cool blast from the past. It makes you... Uh, makes you think of Scooby-Doo's mystery wagon and it does me anyway or surfer dudes or but yeah it's kind of cool it's a really nice old van uh, it's been fairly well loved I'd say uh, today we just got it in to try and get it running a bit smoother it wants to keep cutting out at idle and uh, apparently got quite a rattle under the right front suspension so we're going to look into that uh, longer term uh, what the customer wants to do is put a bigger engine in it, an automatic transmission, some disc brakes, modernise it up a little bit, uh, drop it down a little bit on some slightly bigger wheels. It's only got little baby 13s on it. Uh, so yeah, he's got some plans. Uh, what I'm trying to do is talk him into putting a Ford Barra engine in it, which is the Australian uh, 250 cubic inch overhead cam uh, six cylinder engine that was like basically only made for the Australian market. There's a few of them dribbling into the States, but they're a super strong motor. They're making huge horsepower and Aussie out of them, um, turning them to like 10,000 RPM at the, at the extreme. Uh, so yeah, I think this gentleman is gonna probably go that route. Now, if I've got any Australian viewers watching, if you guys want to comment, help me out with where I might be a good place to pick up one of these Barra engines and transmissions, because I'm really not too sure where to start. But yeah, if you can help me out with that, that would be great. Uh, meanwhile, let's let's go around and have a look around this old girl. You could have a look at keys, wouldn't it, Barry? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Keys. Hang on. Yeah, there's no cuts and take twos here, it's just is what it is. Right. So take a little look in there. Looks like he's had the air cleaner off trying to get it running. Got a some old school AC in it. Trusty C B radio. Don't think any of that works, but that's okay. But yeah, it's definitely the more luxurious version of this with the you know, all the door panels in it and a full headliner. Um, it's, uh, you know, all body colour painted right through. An extra two rows of seats. So yeah, this was, I guess, a microbus, or the equivalent to the... Okay, quite got that right, yeah. Challenge. Looks like we might find found another job to add to the list. But hey, pair in the window. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice old van. Perfect candidate for doing, um, you know, for hot rodding up because you haven't got a lot of body work to do, not a lot of rust to repair. Uh, so yeah, we can uh, we can find one of these engines. We can just start having at it and uh, see if we can't build as a 300 horsepower Falcon van. Anyway, let's get this inside and on the rack, uh, see what that rattle is, and uh, we'll have a look around under that and see, what, uh, see what's holding one of these up. See you in a second. Okay, got her up on the rack. That's as high as we can get it because of some seal ceiling clearances we have here, but that'll work. Uh, we did get the door opening. So yeah, our neat, neat little feature is this here which pops out with the door, the mechanical linkage in there. Um, so yeah, definitely a people mover type van and with that little extra. So there's that I thought I'd show you. Now, the customer wants to go to bigger brakes and bigger wheels, and these here are the wheels that came off the Cougar Fastback, which, you know, it's not necessarily something you'd put on a modern hot rod, or, you know, today's build, but, I actually think 
I think that looks pretty cool. It's kind of era, era, era correct, or period correct, um, for this, this type of van. I think if we can find some center caps, I think those wheels would look pretty cool on this thing. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Uh, and if anyone knows where I can get some center caps for them, that'd be a real bonus too. Uh, so yeah, that being said, let's uh, dive underneath and have a look what's going on under here. Get on my trusty company vehicle uh, and have a look. So we've got the little, appears to be like a six cylinder Mustang rear axle in it, little seven and a quarter. Uh, it's had a new tank fairly recently. I had to kind of giggle a little bit at the size of this drive shaft here. It's, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's thinner than, thinner than, yeah, probably that one's your imagination, but yeah, it's really tiny. Just made me laugh. It's had a bit of work done under here, but I mean, the floors are in perfect shape. All the intersections, like up here, and all this is all factory, hasn't been screwed with. Um, so yeah, the brakes have been replaced relatively recently. Uh, it would appear our clunk in the front is the kingpins. So they've got a bit of wear in them, you know, more than what's, uh, what you would be comfortable with typically as far as that noise, that clunking when you go over bumps. Um, but we may just leave that because this beam axle is not necessarily staying. Uh, we may go to an independent type front suspension because he just wants to get it driving a bit nicer, a little, little bit more modern. These these worked well but they you know they didn't make for a good uh, interstate driver with the beam axle so looking around uh, we did notice this uh, if you want to come around here there well, you can see from there somewhere now the customer didn't complain that that the van wasn't charging uh, i'm not sure whether he didn't know or whether he keeps it on a trickle charger but there's no belt on here at all uh, this appears to be some kind of a modification and possibly the AC pump set up on top of this big bracket here. But the AC pump's gone. Uh, the radiator for the AC is gone. We've just got the pipes, the AC hoses here, but no, uh, no radiator for the AC. So yeah, but the carburetor needs a kit. We're gonna put a kit through the carburetor, uh, get that going. The accelerator pump's not working. That's making it a bit hard to start. Uh, but other than that, um, we're going to make some measurements, figure out what type of suspension we might be able to put in it longer term. Uh, but at the moment, he just wants to, he's worried about that clunk and how it's running or not running so well. So we'll address that. Uh, we'll get it back down on the ground and we may even take it for a little drive. I mean, we're not going to set any records with a 144 six cylinder, uh, but it should be fun. Uh, all right, we'll, uh, we'll get that done and we'll be right back. Okay, so this old girl's about ready for a test drive. Uh, we rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, we had a, quite a bad leak in the radiator, as it turned out. So we put a new radiator in there. Uh, we had to get an aluminum one. There wasn't any, any copper brass stuff available for this one. That's a unique radiator to this van. Uh, so the aluminum will be fine. It looks kind of a little out of place, but I mean, you don't see it, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it's uh, it's running nice now, so there we go, let's go for a drive. Right. Your driving position is certainly well forward. It's, uh, it's a little unusual feeling being like over the front wheel. Well, it's got a nice big air conditioning unit here. It's not actually connected, so just a little warm in here, guys. That's all right. Feels like driving a bus. That's alright, it's cool. It's the magical mystery van, whatever they call it. What did they call it? The Scooby Doo stuff? Mystery wagon. Well, it's a little 
bait. It's not bad, really. Feel that acceleration? Yeah, neither did I. Actually, it goes a long way. We're sitting on almost 50 mile an hour. It's quite comfortable. I'm sure it gets a bit rowdier at interstate speed. It's actually doing pretty well for a little 95 horse engine. This one has the little baby 144 cubic inch, so uh, it actually goes a little better than I thought it would. Taking a hard right turn the first time I drove it, as soon as you got on the brakes. So it's pulling up straight.